Hello everyone, it's time to watch a video. We are about to finish the unit 5 and unit 5 is about jobs. Uh, before this video you watched uh, a video about culture page and on that page we studied uh, British entrepreneurs. Here is another British entrepreneur, Marx and Spencer. Before you watch you can answer these questions and also uh, after watching, you will answer these questions, but before, please read them. Where was Michael Marx from? When did Marx and Spencer begin? And which of these things can you see in the clothes section, clothes part of the Marx and Spencer shop? And I will start the video now. Uh, you will sh watch it with subtitles. Marx and Spencer has been one of the most famous retailers in the United Kingdom for over 125 years. If you go to your nearest town or city centre, you'll almost certainly find one. It is an important part of British life. But who were Marx and Spencer? Michael Marx was a businessman from Belarus, which at that time was part of the Russian Empire. Thomas Spencer was born in Skipton, Yorkshire. He worked as a cashier for a wholesale company. They were both very ambitious, but at the time they were unlikely business partners. Michael Marx immigrated to England in 1882 and moved to Leeds. He wanted to start a business, so he met Isaac Dewhurst, a wholesaler operating from this warehouse, which is still called the Dewhurst Building today. Marx borrowed five pounds from Dewhurst and established a stall here at Kirkgate Market. It wasn't easy. Marx worked long hours and was on his feet all day serving customers. But his stall quickly became popular and he opened several penny bazaars, a shop where everything cost a penny. His business was growing rapidly and he soon needed a partner. He asked Isaac Dewhurst. He said no but he recommended his senior cashier instead, Tom Spencer. Spencer agreed to join Marx, and on the 28th of September 1894, Marx and Spencer was born. The partnership was an instant success, and throughout the 20th century, the business continued to grow. Today, there are over 700 Marx and Spencer stores in the United Kingdom and 361 international stores in more than 40 countries. They employ over 85,000 people, and everyone, from the sales assistants to the chairman, works as a team. The Marks & Spencer Group has an annual revenue of over 10 billion pounds, and over the next few years, the company is going to expand in other countries. They are going to open 250 new stores, meaning they'll sell more in India, China, Russia and the Middle East. They are also going to expand their online shopping business, so they'll soon sell everything through their website too. And they won't stop there. After over 120 years, they will continue to build on one of the biggest brands in British business. Uh -huh. That's the end of the video. So, here are some questions. Please answer them. Where was Michael Marx from? When did it begin? And what can you see? Uh, 
before starting the second part of the video, I will give you some new words here. There are some numbers. You know, businessman, cashier, a person who gets the money from the customers in a supermarket or in a store. You know, cashier. It's also similar to the one to the word in, in Turkish. Leeds is the name of the city. Online retailer, huh? Retailer is new. Let's check it. Retailer. Retailer is a person. Uh, is a person who buys uh, things. Who buys something uh, one by one from a shop. For example, we are all retailers. But if you have a cafe or if you, a restaurant, you don't buy things one by one because you are running a cafe and you need uh, a lot of things. So you buy things as a wholesale. Wholesaler is a person who buy things more than one or more than limited numbers with uh, with a great number of things wholesaler top tanji retailer parakendic and website please try to answer the questions by filling in the gaps And then the other part is um, you will number the events. What happened first? What happened next? Let's watch it again one more time with the subtitle. Huh? Marks & Spencer has been one of the most famous retailers in the United Kingdom for over 125 years. If you go to your nearest town or city centre, you'll almost certainly find one. It is an important part of British life. But who were Marks & Spencer? Michael Marks was a businessman from Belarus, which at that time was part of the Russian Empire. Thomas Spencer was born in Skipton, Yorkshire. He worked as a cashier for a wholesale company. They were both very ambitious, but at the time they were unlikely business partners. Michael Marks immigrated to England in 1882 and moved to Leeds. He wanted to start a business, so he met Isaac Dewhurst, a wholesaler operating from this warehouse, which is still called the Dewhurst Building today. Marx borrowed five pounds from Dewhurst and established a stall here at Kirkgate Market. It wasn't easy. Marx worked long hours and was on his feet all day serving customers. But his stall quickly became popular and he opened several penny bazaars, a shop where everything cost a penny. His business was growing rapidly and he soon needed a partner. He asked Isaac Dewhurst. He said no but he recommended his senior cashier instead, Tom Spencer. Spencer agreed to join Marx, and on the 28th of September, 1894, Marx and Spencer was born. The partnership was an instant success, and throughout the 20th century, the business continued to grow. Today, there are over 700 Marx and Spencer stores in the United Kingdom and 361 international stores in more than 40 countries. They employ over 85,000 people and everyone 
from the sales assistants to the chairman, works as a team. The Marks and Spencer Group has an annual revenue of over £10 billion, and over the next few years, the company is going to expand in other countries. They are going to open 250 new stores, meaning they'll sell more in India, China, Russia, and the Middle East. They are also going to expand their online shopping business, so they'll soon sell everything through their website too. And they won't stop there. After over 120 years, they will continue to build on one of the biggest brands in British business. Uh -huh. I will give you more words about the video. Here, customers, staff, you know, müşteri, staff, personnel, çalışan, staff, personnel, çalışan, no customers. And also there are some viewers in the um, video part. Let me explain them. Warehouse. It means uh, it's a place uh, you put your stuff, your things, uh, which are extra. Depot. And Penny Bazaar. It's a nice word. <laughs> penny, you know. Pounds and penny. Euro and cents. Lira and Kurush. Bir milyoncu, ha? <gülüyor> Bir milyoncu tarzı dükkanlar, penny bazar. Stall also a new word. Tezga. Tezga. Annual. Yıllık. Revenue. Gelir. And expand. Genişlemek, büyümek. So, you can answer all these questions, I think. Brand, you know that. We learned it before. Marka. Establish. Huh? Establish is also maybe uh, a new word. Uh, on video, uh, sorry, on the culture page. Uh, I talked about font, as you remember. Here, establish mean totally the same. Kurmak. Both these verbs are regular, founded, established. And partnership, you know, partner, partnership. Ortaklık. Revenue, gelir dedik. Okay, you can answer these questions. That's the end of the video of video. Bye-bye.